right now? Should you be quiet? No? Do you want to talk? Do you feel like the need to express yourself? Are you having a meeting? Oh, you can have your meeting. Oh, well, well see, watching work is actually about you working. So actually, I'm going to be watching you work. Because the me in the title is you. It's, yeah, it's kind of like, you know, yeah. It's like meta theatrical free writing class uh, that we do on Mondays in the afternoon in the lobby of the Public Theater. And uh, just a, a heads up, next week we won't be doing it because there's going to be a parade of presidents and I'm going. Oh, just you and me? No, they only have one black one. You go, you go. I'll be on the sidelines cheering you on. Yeah, go, brother. Um, yeah, um, and yeah. So what we're going to do is the Samina's how is you. You're, we're going to work for 20 minutes, and then we're going to answer questions about your creative process. If you're watching us online, which some folks are in the ether webs, then Anika is going to tell you how to get in touch with us. Hi, everybody. If you guys are watching from home, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you want to tweet in your questions at the end of the 20 minutes, uh, you can find us on Twitter at, at WatchMeWorkSLP. So it's WatchMeWorkSLP. And we're using the hashtag HowlRow. So if you tag it with HowlRound, I'll be able to find your questions, and we'll be sure that they get heard. So, thanks. I could have spelled it here for years. I thought I could, I didn't understand. HowlRound's H-O-W-L. Like, oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, oh. HowlRound. I know, it's like, it's like deep. <laughs> All right. It's <laughs> like deep. It was just, it was deep. Uh, okay, so I'm going to be working. I might work on a tech career. I might write by hand. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to do this for 20 minutes. I'm setting this timer. You're sitting here coming. Okay.
Brian, could be a way that you could show up for the thing or yourself, that brighter part of yourself. What could you do? Space, create your time, um, nurture that, not judge it. And do you, have you done that? Do you, do you have a, a space in your home or in your favorite coffee shop, a time of day? If you have to move a lot or whatever, you can have like, I mean, I know it's different, it's diff it makes it more difficult, but you can have a time of day that you can say, I'm gonna, you know, so you move to a new apartment or a new neighborhood, and you do things like, you find an all night diner, you know, that you can get to either before work or whatever, and you just make, you sort of, if you say you work from nine to five, then you can write from, 30 minutes before you can work. Maybe you start writing on the subway. You, you, um, what am I supposed to say? You add, you, you attach your new practice onto a practice that's already established. That's very helpful. So say you have a running practice. Every day you go running for an hour. You attach your writing practice onto something that's already established. Every day at 8 o'clock in the morning you go running for an hour. So you write, you send the right, right before the running, then when you run. I'm saying, yes. attach, that's like the buddy system for your habits, you know, um, which is very, can be very helpful, I found. Do you think, I guess this is like, just in, I guess this is all, I guess this is my question, so I'm now gearing up for writing and just life in general. It's more thing. Creating, yeah. Well, um, in terms of like routine or like having established, like I feel like people are maybe just exhibiting, just being the creatures of habit. So why not have that structure? Oh, well, no, I guess I, oh, yeah, I guess that's right. the, but yeah. I mean, as I say, it's easy to create. You know what I'm saying? 
I mean, when things are in flux and moving and new and there's a lot of change and everything, it is difficult sometimes to, to create a structure. You know? Or when you, know, when, you, when you get a cold or when you have a breakup, you're planning a wedding or whatever, whatever, or moving to Saskatchewan or whatever. You know? Things are in flux. But, but you can find time for your practice. I mean, that's the essence of practice, you know what I mean? You, you find time for it. You make time for it. And so the weather, it's, it's not dependent on the weather. You know? Let the wind blow. Uh, you have your practice. And so it, the most important thing is that you show up for, and I say this about yoga, you, know, you unroll your mat, you stand at your mat, if that's all you can manage that day, it's okay. You say this to me about meditation. You, you could even, if you just can't, see you're running around, you're trying to get to the airport or whatever, you can bow to your cushion. That's practice. You see what I mean? So it doesn't have to be an hour a day, every day, like, you know, some weird regimented self-loathing kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's just an acknowledgement that this is part of your life. And you make an attempt, you know? Sophia wants to know what should she do in the meantime while waiting for the characters to get to where she wants to go. Like, and she also wants to know, will it typically take a long time? Oh, um, okay. So, look, I'm gonna balance on the side. So I don't want to fall off. Um, so what do we do um, while we're waiting for where the characters want to what? So the fir you know the first question she asked was about you know the characters yeah. um, not turning out the way you want them to or uh, generating things fast. So she wa I think she wants to know what she's supposed to do in the meantime. In the meantime, right? While well, she's waiting for them to do what she wants. Yeah. <laughs> well, one of the, okay. So the first thing, Sophie, is you sh you show up every day. So you want me to tell Brian. You pick your writing time. Your writing time is whatever your time is. Basically, it's a mathematical. Uh, it's this equation. It's you pick your favorite time of day, um, and that's your writing time. So if you're a morning person, your your writing time will probably be in the morning. If you're a night owl type, your writing time will be at night or an afternoon type. Okay, so you pick your favorite time of day, and then you spend like 20 minutes, uh, which is good. Good way to start just sitting there with your notebook or your laptop or your computer or your typewriter or whatever and you have a timer like this or like this or you can use your phone, I don't know if you have a phone but um, I, I suggest not the phone because the phone is crack. In this situation, all right, so you get a, like a regular timer like this. You set it for 20 minutes and you just write, you just like what they call free write or you can talk to your characters you, know, you can have conversations with your characters. Just let them roll around in your head and write down what they say. And just spend time hanging out with them. You do that as often as you can. Like every day would be great. Five days a week um, would be, you know, really good. Like that. And also, if you can, try to just not worry so much, let go of the idea that they're going to do what you want them to do. And be that, because that means that you're going to become interested in what they're doing. You know, like your mom, she's, you know, she's working on like letting go of what she wants you to do. Because that's why she loves you so much. Because she's interested in who you are instead of who she wants you to be. So you have to love your characters, and the more you love them, the more they're going to talk to you. The more they're going to show it for you. It's like honey. That's why they call it honey. To the bee. A bee as it is. You know what I'm talking about. 
<laughs> it all works. And this, this information does not translate into other languages, unfortunately. Anyway. And will it take a while? Does it, she, she says, does it typically oh. take a while? A while, like, it could take five minutes. It could be instantaneous. Could take a moment or so. But the fun thing is that you're starting, you're going to start, hopefully, you will start to have fun just hanging out with your characters. And then you know you're on to something. You know? And you start to enjoy the time you're spending with these people in their world. And so time kind of falls away. And you're in the field of creativity, in the field of the spirit, and that you're one of us. And, and you say, welcome. <laughs> yeah, then you like our office, and yippee ha, we have another one, you know? So yay. Can't wait to meet you. Come next time when your mom comes. That'd be so cool. Yeah, go, right? Brian, for me? Or do you have a question? Are you here for Watch Me Work? myself a failure because I think gosh I never can write it because you know I fall asleep. Yeah. My worker looks at me he's like you're sleeping. I'm like no I'm not. <laughs> it's like 10 o'clock at night. I'm asleep. You know? But I write in the morning. But that's my time. That's why I'm a morning person. I always have you know so but I wouldn't say everybody has to write in the morning. Because that's ridiculous. Some people don't like to get up early in the morning. Some people aren't effective early in the morning. I am. And you're effective late at night. You're late at night is your time. You know? So and that's really just like showing up. Because, you know, then you'll give yourself a chance to make that beautiful thing. I know. I know. I know. Why? Well, you should. Come on. The world needs more beautiful things. You know, so you gotta give yourself, you gotta give yourself a chance to do the thing, right? You gotta do it, you know? I mean, or continue to do it, because making one, of course, is not enough. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole thing, I did it before, and yeah. then I stopped. Okay. And that's, I guess, the fear of it being okay, of getting back, and of losing my freedom. Right, right, right. Right.
know, and this is why. I, I mean, I've done that many times to write many, many drafts, and they're kind of, they're not, it's not like you're writing one and rewriting, you know, it's an active thing, it's you write something and then you kind of forget about it and you do it again. And, and in my experience, it's just, you're just kind of sifting through some pages. I, this hurts. That doesn't. I feel overwhelmed. I don't know. Maybe that. Oh. That's good. So there's a lot of this kind of. So that's why I suggest just try to remember what you wrote. I mean, I'm not saying don't use it. I'm saying use what you can remember. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's I think so. True. Yeah. I think so. I think so. So instead of going sifting back to the pages, just draw a line and try to think what is the story as I remember it. Okay? It's it's hard. But I think it's gonna be it's gonna give you you know and this is the draft that I'm going to use. You know? And if that doesn't sound good to you, go ahead and sift back through all the drafts you've already written <coughs> and see how that feels. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's a tricky thing, but I think, I, I, I am guessing that you've probably already tried to sift you through the drafts and see what I got in that Yeah, yeah so that's what you guys do. Right, yeah. so that kind of wasn't so great. Not like I'm gonna, but I'm gonna start a new. Yeah, yeah, like it served its purpose for what it was. Right, that was like the fertilizer, that was the generative stuff. So now, instead of opening up a new, I, did you write it on a computer or a laptop? Yeah, there's like, yeah. I, I've been there, I've been there, many things on your laptop. I go, shit, crap, number seven, I don't know what the fuck. So instead of writing on your laptop, I don't know, you guys said this before, take some index cards, three by five index cards, you're going to write in a different way, right? Three by five index cards, and say, this is what the story of the play is about. This happens, this happens, this happens, this happens, and in the end, this happens. So you're going to put on a series of three by five index cards. Do you understand what I'm talking about? And maybe 10 cards, or 7 cards, or in, the, or in the beginning only 3 cards. This happens, in the middle this happens, in the end this happens, that's all, you get 3 cards. And you can fill in between the middle, between the beginning and the middle, this happens. Between the middle and the end, this happens. And you have 5 cards. You keep kind of filling them in that way. I want you to try writing differently. So you have a tactile thing in your hand. Did we talk about this before? We did, because I'm looking at you going, I'm remembering that it's Whitman. Because energetically, I can feel that you're not on the ground. I can feel, I can talk, I totally got the head again. I'm like, wait a minute. We talked about this. You were sitting like over there. And this, yeah, I remember. <laughs> Uh, it was a long time ago, but I remember this, right, because I got the feeling that you're kind of, I mean, you're grounded and everything, but you're not also. There's something kind of hovering above the ground. It's not a crime. It's just, I just want you to do something that's tactile, that's like touching paper, writing with a pencil or a pen, old school kind of thing. Index cards, writing by hand. You have your cards in your hand. You're on the subway or whatever, and you're shuffling the cards. And as you flip the cards, you're telling yourself the story and seeing it in your mind and touching something. So for a minute, don't go back to any of the tracks. Busted, you're so busted. <laughs>
is take three. So hold your hand. Yep, there you go, there you go. Three, hold your hand. Three, five, five, index card. That's all you get, you only get three. That's it, you can buy a whole pack. You only get to take out three. And you're gonna write, in the beginning this happens. I mean, in the beginning, what's the, what's the first thing that happens? We'll be here. We hope you'll be here also. Um, thanks to Matt and Angie behind the camera. Thanks to Anika up front helping me. And we love you, and we'll see you next time.